Welcome to the Scale Builders Guild. Hey, it's a live episode of What's on the Bench Weekly. And let's see if I can actually get this to work. It worked. <laughs> Yay. That's amazing. I feel so happy about that. I uh, love having the intro on the actual show. Yeah, sorry I'm late. Uh, it was uh, technical difficulties, but we got it all figured out now. And uh, it's so great to see the actual intro in the actual show. Wow, that's amazing. Um, welcome. Hope everyone is well. Hope you're well since yesterday. Um, not much has transpired, except I've been working feverishly on the monthly mayhem build. Um, there's a lot going on there. Uh, check in. Let me know where you're watching from. And if you plan on watching all eight hours of content for what's on the, or for the monthly mayhem that's coming up, it's going to be crazy. Myself, that's one. Josh, two. K-Pop RC, RC Review, West Desert Wheeler, CCXRC, Turks and Jerps, and Tomley RC. There you go. That's all eight of them. So um, that's going to be pretty amazing. Uh, it's a lot of content. But to be fair, there's a lot going on with that series. There's a lot of uh, really interesting stuff happening. So, um, yeah. There you go. Um, be done by nine. Moose Jaw's on at nine. <laughs> okay. I will try my best. Uh, hopefully you're all enjoying your Thursday night. Hey, morning from the Czech Republic. Thanks for checking in. Pack, packes, packes, pack, patches, patches. Um, this is what's on the bench weekly where usually, uh, we kind of just go over the stuff that's on the bench. Unfortunately for you, uh, fortunately for me, uh, there are so many things that were just on the bench that had to be taken off the bench in order to make room for what's on the bench. Uh, the Mayhem build is just off camera, where you can't see it. I, it's not, it's like, where's my, there, <laughs> there's my hand. Hello, hello. Um, and then if you just, like, anywhere just beyond where the, my hand is, it's all Monthly Mayhem right over there. So, you won't be able to see that, thankfully. Um, the 80s 8-bit intro is perfect for the Optima Mid, the Optima Midi. Ah, oh, yes, Midi, yeah. Oh, Wes, you're only going to watch Richard's if that's it? His isn't going to be an hour long, I bet. <laughs> ah. um, all right. Um, Crossville, Tennessee, right on. And might watch the abridged version. I don't think there will be an abridged version. You'll just have to scroll through yourself to make it abridged. Um, Friday morning in Australia... Definitely in for all eight hours. It's going to be crazy. Um, Matt, how did the Falcon tires feel? Uh, Ryan, if you stick around, um, I'll show you how they feel. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do Kyosho stuff first. Um, because I want to. Can we get an overhead view? No. This is my show. Um, but what I will do is once we get going here... Um, I'll probably uh, turn this this way, maybe even scroll up, scroll up, stupid. Uh, and then we can turn this hmm, sort of like this. Yeah. Just open the box, damn it. Hey, look, um, I made this knife. Well, I assembled it anyway. Um, this is the Optima Mid. If you are not familiar with this, um, th you should be. This is one of the most iconic uh, racing buggies of all time. Um, there's some really nice stuff on the uh, on the box here. Uh, the basic design follows. I'm not going to read all of it, but um, this is essentially a re-re. There are some changes. Um, it's belt driven. Uh, it's four wheel drive. Those are all things that I think are. You need a bigger room. Yes, I do. It's true. Um, this one now uh, has... Um, I'll just go over the, the updated parts. Uh, gold anodized shocks that resemble the pressure shocks that dominated the era. They are not pressure shocks, though. They are just 
regular emulsion shocks. Uh, belt cover has been updated from previous vacuum form part to molded resin part that effectively protects the drive belt from dirt and dust. That's great. Uh, 50 millimeter one piece wheels replicate the original design uh, and include the same tires as the Turbo Optima. So you don't get those pin tires. So is it good or is it just mid? <laughs> um, equipped with reinforced slipper clutch to support powerful brushless motors, which is great because I will definitely be putting a brushless system in this. Uh, battery holders now um, use, uh, can be used with various battery types. Uh, there's a motor wire guide and reinforced nylon rear wing shared with the Javelin. So a few updates. And um, it also, this one, I don't know if you saw that sticker there, but it comes with the original Turbo Optima Mid graphics pattern as well. So you can go old school or you can go slightly less old school, um, which uh, I'm super excited about. So uh, let's just open this up and see what we're dealing with here. My thanks to Kyosho for sending this my way. Very kind of them. Um, I've always, I had one of these when I was in my teens and I wanted one again. So, here we go. Ah, oh, just like the, oh, it smells great. Sticker sheet. Oh, that's a little, little bright. Uh, sticker sheet with some very cool mini, like, comical versions of the, uh, the buggy. There's all of your, uh, your fancy old-timey decals. And, uh, you also get the wing for that one, too. Uh, so that's what's in that bag there. Uh, the other stickers are on the other side, it looks like. Uh, so let's open that up. This knife is getting dull. I need to sharpen my blade. Jimmy Two Horses, great to meet you at PLBTF. Thank you very much. Make sure we got all the details here. There's all the, the, the tire ones. I, like, the tire ones would stay on for, like, half a heartbeat, if that. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I guess hmm, maybe just, that's weird, maybe just these stickers, or maybe the other stickers are underneath. Speaking of stickers, over a year later, and I finally put the SBG sticker on my back window, right on. That must be the big one that you got from, um, whatchamacallit, um, Teespring. So, like any good old timey uh, packaging, this is upside down, but you get the blister pack with all this stuff in it. Uh, this is just like, this is the best way they, they, they could ever do this. It just looks so cool that way. Are you allowed to carry a knife in Canada? I'm sure you are, David. I don't, but I'm sure you, there wouldn't be a, an issue with carrying a knife around. Uh, with both decal sets, you could do the 1999 BAR-01 split livery. Oh, sick. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That would be neat. Uh, gold shocks. Uh, drive shafts, bearings, uh, drive belt pulleys, uh, three gear, uh, and motor plate is on that blister pack. What else have we got here? I wish we could zoom out a little bit more, but that's as far back as we can go. You know what? Here, hang on a second. Let me just change some settings. There we go. Not so bright. Uh, let's open this box. See what's in the box. Uh, bag B. <laughs> ah, that's so good. Uh, recommend the Marlin Crawler to me again. I'm about to pull the trigger. Out of all the TF2s, that's the Marlin Crawler I would get. Um, that's what I like the most. Uh, A bag. There's lots. There's a lot of parts in here that I don't remember. Uh, E-bag. Spare parts. That's really friendly of them. Uh, what else we got? Bag C. Some. Those look like they're hot metal, but uh, I remember them being plastic, so that's probably good. Bottom chassis plate. Uh, aluminium countersunk uh, for all your, hopefully, M3 hardware. I'm not, uh, yep, it's all hex hardware. That's good. Do I still have the Traxxas UDR? No, I do not. Uh, sold that to a forum member who asked if I still had it, and I did at the time, so 
send it to them. Okay, let's put everything back because we're not building this tonight. Wish we were. Watch the concurrent viewers go way down. Uh, but I don't have time to build this right now. I got a mayhem challenge to win. Had an OG Opto movement in 87 when it first came out. Yeah, um, I had one of the OG ones as well. But it wasn't 87. It was probably closer to 97. Yeah, like 10 years later. And I still bought it for $200. Idiot. Uh, there's the body. Just as I remember it. It's like an RC4 with a mystery box opening all over again. <laughs> but this one, I'm smiling the whole time. Not frowning. Uh, oh. See, this is why you get the vintage stuff, man. Look at these graphics. That's fantastic. That's on the inside of the box. It just, I love the blueprint style. I love the yellow. Fantastic. Not, there's no box art. Like, Kyosho doesn't do a lot of box art. Like, uh, they used to, I think, back in the old days. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so there you go. There's the original sticker sheet. And then you have... The new sticker sheet. So you can do it any way you want. You can do it two ways. Um, but yeah, that's amazing. Full manual in there too. It's such this is one of those cars that just looks awesome all the time. Let's get that box out of the way. That's the instructions. What did I say? Manual? Manual is the same thing as instructions in my book. Oh, oh, oh I'm making a mess. Is this happening? I wish it was tonight, Ben, but man, I can't, I can't commit to building this tonight. So yeah, updated wheels. They're not the multi-piece wheels like they used to be, but they look exactly the same. And that's all that matters. You don't get the pin tires. You do get the sort of like the much uh, less aggressive, but probably a lot more usable. I'm late. Please start over. I will not, but maybe I'll play the intro again, just for fun. Because I love the intro. Here we go. <laughs> it's so great. How can you not love that? That's my favorite. John Ger Derrigan, yes, this is a re, -re. Uh It was released a few months back. It hasn't, it's not like new, new. So that you get white wing or black wing. Eric Baker, thank you very much. Matt, where could someone get the SBG sticker on the back wall of your workbench? Ah, well, that isn't actually a sticker. It's a 3D print that Turks and Jerps made for me. Um, he, he actually, yeah, he made that, designed it, 3D printed it, and then weathered it for me, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, but if you want a big sticker like that, go to the Teespring page where I have all the other merch. Uh, and they do a big ass sticker, so you can get one from them. So all the wheels, tires, it's four wheel drive, so the fronts are the same as the rears. Another big bag of plastic, and then here's the ooh smoked plastic, smoked translucent plastic for the belt drive cover and uh, spur you. That is that's hot. That's some new hotness right there. A wedding wing? <laughs> Maybe he's referring to the sticker in front of me? Oh, this one! Oh, on the workbench. Oh. That was made by SOR Graphics. Um, he does a lot of wraps and stuff. And I was like, hey, could you do a big wrap for my workbench? And he's like, yes, I could. So he did. I kind of designed up what I wanted. Something black and gray, just to keep it simple. And uh, that's what... Uh, that's what he did. He made that for me. I paid money for it, obviously, but um, yeah, you could email him and maybe he'll do the same thing for you. Sorry to be confused. Thank you, uh, David, for um, confirming what he was asking. It's amazing. All right, so that's everything you get. Enough to build one car. You need to add your own electronics. Uh, Kyosho does not even include some Mabushi motor or crummy motor for you. It does. It's such a memory bringer backer. I absolutely loved this car when it came out. 
and I'm so excited to be able to build another one. Because I didn't get to build the first one. That was just built by somebody else. So this is pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting indeed. He assembled that sticker. Well, he made it anyways. I didn't know. I just, I didn't, all I did was stick it on the back wall. That was, that was the, the gist of what I was responsible for. Uh, so there you go. That's the Optima Mid with two sets of stickers. Um, I cannot wait to build this, but I have to. Otherwise, um, other things will suffer. You can't have that. Can't have that at all. Where's the Baja? Good question. Might as well bring that up onto the bench next, or at least hold it in my hands uh, so we can get a look at that. We'll get in there. I want to wreck it. Good enough. Yeah. Uh, I'd pay good money to watch you and Josh do TLS Garage style build up. What's TLS Garage? I am not memory bringer backer. Wes, do not make fun of my language skills or lack thereof. <laughs> it is a memory bringer backer. And I'll say whatever I want. It's my show. Anyway, there you go. Optima Mid. Uh, I cannot wait to have this built but we're going to have to. Maybe a couple weeks. Did you get those Tamiya Porsches? Funny enough, those got shipped today, including uh, the Blazing Blazer and what else did I buy? Rough Rider. Yes, uh, those were all from Show Dog, who was quite the builder slash collector. His collection is ridiculous. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away quite uh, suddenly. And um, his son was kind of tasked with kind of thinning his collection of which there were many, 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 many cars. So uh, I got a couple thanks to Ampro Engineering. If you've never checked out Ampro's show, uh, you definitely should. He uh, is a big vintage guy, does a lot of really cool 3D printing. Um, and a heck of a guy, too. Got to meet him for the first time at Proline by the Fire. Oh, oh, eh. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't fit. Is the Rough Rider ribbed for her pleasure? Sure. <sighs> I love crushing these because it looks like it looks like I'm drinking a tall boy, but it's just water. Let's try this again, but from a different angle. Oh, there we. That's maybe better. Not really. <laughs> it's too big. Yeah, don't throw your, exactly, don't throw your back out. You could. This thing is so heavy. There's a little bit of focus. Um, oh, man. There's just no good way to do this. There, that's adequate. <laughs> When is Monster, Monster going to send you a few cases? I hope they don't. I'm not, I'm, I don't drink, I don't drink Monster. I've never had one. I'm sure they're good. Um, so here's the Baja 5B from HPI, uh, all painted up. Um, did a really, this livery, I'm pretty chuffed with how this came out. I would say that the, the Kyosho stuff of the same era or a little bit earlier was the inspiration with the stripes. Um, the, the orange that has the red stripe that fades into pink and then into purple, I thought was just kind of, it was super fun and uh, just kind of, kind of nice. I like this. Um, it, uh, I wanted originally like, cause of course Castle supplied the XL2 or the XLX2 and the uh, 2024 motor, 2028 motor, um, 800 KV. Uh, and I, I was like, you know what, maybe I should do something that's green, you know, because it's electric. So, you know, green power. Uh, but then I saw that HPI, one of their the Flux release, uh, 
press kit photos, it was already green truck or gr green buggy. So I was like, well, I can't do that again. So I needed to do something a bit different. And you can't see it on film, but the orange actually has a little bit of sparkle in it. I did like a base or a backing coat of silver and it wasn't, um, it wasn't fully opaque. So a little bit of that shined through. I used a combination of on point paint and the Traxxas uh, Pro Graphics paint. It really, for me so far, uh, and I mean, I used to be a huge Tamiya fan. They, they do great paint, obviously. Uh, but this paint, for whatever reason, it just, there's a wider variety of really interesting colors. And I'm just a lot more pleased with how it lays on the actual bodies, especially when I'm doing like masking tape masking like I'm doing here. Um, yeah, I just, I much prefer it. Feel free to send that buggy to me since it's too big for your hobby room slash studio. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not, it's not good for what's on the bench. It's sort of like somebody, I think somebody said it here, uh, call this, eh, it's kind of on the bench. <laughs> it's great, Chris. Uh, those paints mixed okay. Yes, because they're the same manufacturer. Uh, they're both made in Europe. Uh, the one's just imported to Canada. The other is imported to the United States. Otherwise, except for the labels, they are exactly the same formulations. Um, Traxxas has a few exclusive paints like this one, the orange, that's max orange. I think it's called, uh, yep. And, um, yeah, like they just have some exclusive colors, but don't scratch it. Call off the showdown with K-pop. I know I, this is my problem. Every time I do a really nice paint job. And then I also did like the side pods are sort of reminiscent of what's going on there. Oh, just a little bit of mask left over. Um, kind of reminiscent of what they did on the McLaren uh, F1 car for Japan and Singapore. Um, hang that bad boy on the wall behind you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's gotten a lot heavier since I added the motor <laughs> and the ESC. Like, the size of this ESC is hilarious. The motor is basically a can of liquid death. That's how big the motor is. Uh, not quite as long, but certainly as girthy. <laughs> Um, yeah. Now, uh, a few things will be changing on this. Um, first and foremost, uh, DDM, uh, Dave's Discount Motors, when they sent K-pop a bunch of stuff, they plopped a bunch of things in the box for me. So they've sent me a new set of wheels and tires, or not wheels, but tires anyway. Apparently, uh, these are too soft. And if I uh, actually use them, uh, I'll destroy them. So they, and they've also sent a new set of rings too. I was going to dye these to match this, uh, this scheme. I was thinking purple would actually look really good, uh, to match with the rest of, uh, what's going on here. Kentucky sky was also an option, Scott. Um, but they've, uh, DDM sent me new aluminum rings, I think, or better rings than the stock ones. And I think those are orange. I think, uh, I can't remember what K-pop said I could have. So, um, I'm going to go actually buy his place tomorrow and pick them up and drop some stuff off for him so we can finish this monthly mayhem. He and I will probably end up be uh, doing our testing together, even though that's not really, it's not technically against the rules. You mean these are the test tires? Yeah, exactly. It's not against the rules per se, I don't think. Um, yeah. But um, I did want to have another set. Anyway, uh, it's, it's a good idea for him and I to do our testing together because the weather is kind of shit here and we kind of have to take what we can get. So if the two of us are there and we're both filming at the same time, it just means more quality footage, better runs, uh, better overall end results. Uh, we're not going to be obviously helping each other with our cars. That's against the rules. Uh, but certainly filming each other, I think is more than fine. Um, yeah, so uh, that's the Baja. He and I also have to get together to film these. Uh, I'm just waiting now on... Oh, I'm not waiting anymore. Uh, uh, Reefs RC sent me a servo today. The Beast 1000, which is a fifth scale servo. Uh, spot focus off. There you go. Now focus on that. Excellent. Uh, the Beast 1000 fifth scale um, should be more than enough power 
and uh, won't need an external BEC because I think it's like a 20 amp BEC on the XLX2. So that should give plenty of steering power for sure. The rings are called bite lock. Interesting. All right. Uh, you get the runs when you hang with K-pop? <laughs> Jeez. Me and my language. Uh, Brian Sherwood, thank you very much. Any ideas on Kyosho paint scheme? I'm probably going to go... If I don't go box art, I'll go the, the super turbo uh, blue and yellow. I like that blue and yellow look. I like that one a lot. Okay, got to go see Joe. Yeah, of course. I don't mean to steal uh, viewers from him, but uh, every eighth show, this show is live. So I've screwed myself because next week is um, going to be a busy one. But anyway... New servo is in, so f the only thing I'm waiting on now is batteries. I did want to do two 4S packs, but uh, I'm in talks with the guys at Genzace right now. They've got the dimensions of the battery tray, so they're going to figure out if they've got two, two, two 4S batteries or one 8S battery that'll fit. Um, yeah. In fact, you know what? Two 4S is probably better, because I don't know if I have a charger that can charge at 8S. Maybe I do. I don't know. How would Hemistorm paint that HPI? Great question. I hope that he gets one because um, this thing is awesome. Beyond beyond words. I know it doesn't really like show up properly because I've got a uh, thingy going on, but um, yeah. Oh. Okay. That's enough of that. It is so cool though, man. I cannot wait to get that out and drive it. Uh, it's an absolute blast. And when it's gasoline, I can only imagine how great it is electric. Um, what was some, somebody else wanted to see something else? And there's some, it is getting cold up here. Uh, next week is actually going to be really nice, though, uh, which is good. Now all you need is a stolen sheet of plywood to jump your house. Exactly. Um, do you have a Traxxas Max? Yes, I do, Jaden. Um putting paddle tires together now excellent what color are you going to dye the wheel rings i think i answered all these didn't i new name for the show what caused my hernia <laughs> yeah exactly um yeah i'm shocked hemi storm didn't get one i you know what i it, it might be my fault because i reached out to hpi the moment i knew they existed um and uh i think he may have been traveling at the time so i think it was just sort of a it's sort of a misfortune timing thing. Um, if he doesn't, like I'm, obviously I recommend that he should get one. He did tons of parts for the original Baja, so it'd be kind of cool to see what he thought of the Riri. Something you can finally charge at 15 amps. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Oni. Uh, Chris Giangulio, uh, thank you very much. Hey there, Matt. Uh, done anything to the RebelCon? I sold the RebelCon. Yeah, I got rid of it. Um, I didn't think it was all that bad. I really, I still don't. Uh, but I just don't have the room and I needed to unload some stuff and that was one of the things that got unloaded. So, um, yeah, that's unfortunate, of course, but uh, what are you going to do? Um, Hemistorm did not like, oh, that was the question I was looking for. The new Proline SCX6 Chevy body. Oh, man. I don't know if you've seen it. It's on their Facebook page. I don't go on Facebook very much anymore. But, man, oh, man, that thing is not good. It does not look good at all. I was really disappointed. You've got this huge canvas to work with. Like, massive canvas of the SCX6. And you've got all the room to make really good dimensions and make this thing look absolutely stunning and do a bunch of molded details. And they didn't do any of that stuff. It just, it's bad. It's bad. It's really unfortunate. Uh, Scale Studio. Thank you very much. Donation for a bigger bench. Nothing fits anymore. This is the thing. Everything's either gone micro or mini or gigantic. There are only two scales now. It's like 10th scale doesn't get any love or 10th scale doesn't get any love anymore. Uh, oh, uh, what was I going to do? What was I going to do tonight? I've totally forgotten what I was going to do. Oh, that's right. I was going to build some wheels. Uh, did I ever finish the 45th anniversary Porsche? No. <laughs> the, uh, 
This is like what's on the bench and what's what should be on the bench, this show. I feel so bad. Um, it's almost done. There's like, what do I have to do? Magnet mount the body and weather it. That's all I have to do. Otherwise, it's, it is done. Let me go get it. You can see it. It's getting to the point where I'm I'm putting stuff in like cupboards where they where it clearly does not belong. <laughs> it's cause like I'm like, where did I put that again? So bad. You should change the settings so your commenters can reply to each other in the chat. They can. All you have to do is hit at symbol and then their name and it comes right up. Unless something is changed. No, it works for me. See? Huh. <laughs> um, time, there just isn't enough of it. Absolutely. You're absolutely right, Scott. It's like, oops, there's never enough time anymore, it seems. This has been sitting in a, in a cupboard waiting for me to have time to finish it. And uh, man, looking at it again, I'm like, it's so close. There's not much left to do. Sort of like the Tamiya video. Um, <laughs> that's going to get done at some point as well. I just don't know when. Ay, ay, ay. It's because Josh always goes, you know what we should do another challenge? And I'm like, come on. I can't say no because I, I want to do the challenges. But at the same time, everything's got to, there's something that has to give. And unfortunately, it's my projects that have to give all the time. Um, I think I saw, what did I see? You should do a full custom body on SCX6. That would take a lot of work, but um, it could be good. Was it a blazer? He thought, yeah, he said it was a blazer, but it's not a blazer. It's a pickup. It's definitely a pickup. Um, scale builders on the laptop, moose jaw on the cell phone. Right on. That's great. What have I been doing to my high trail? Nothing. Uh, still waiting for mud. Um, got 12th in your first comp. Congratulations. Box stock base camp against 40 people. C2 is fun. Yeah, it is. Um, did you like the RC four-wheel drive C2X? Uh, it was a parts bin truck, mostly um, in that it was built out of other parts uh, on a new chassis, for them anyway. Um, it wasn't my favorite truck. It required a lot of effort to make it comp worthy. And even at that point, I don't know that I would say it would ever do well in a comp. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, um, it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, it's probably seen its best day. I don't think you're going to see a lot more development on that chassis, uh, which is probably, I don't know if they're trying to clear them out or not, but it certainly seems uh, like, like it is. I need a warehouse like Tomley. Yeah, I, I also need Tomley like money. <laughs> uh, yeah, for now, this is going to have to do. Because, <laughs> um, you know, I have a full-time job that um, I really love doing, and I get paid well to do it. Uh, so this is still very much a hobby. We know you have a life outside of YouTube. That's true, I do. Um, Somebody was asking about the Boom Racing Series 3. Oh, there it is. Yes. Uh, Boom Racing Series 3 Land Rover body for my Leaf Sprung BRX2. Yeah. As soon as that's out, I am definitely getting that because that would please me much more than the body that was currently on there. Um, going through the comments. Sorry if I'm missing any of them. Are RTR bodies painted by hand or printed? Uh, none of them are painted by hand. Most of them have like, I think what they actually do, I think Josh kind of explained this, is that it starts out as a big flat piece of Lexan that actually has everything already printed on it. And then they put it in the mold and pop it out. I think that's generally how it works because it's easier to paint when it's flat 
or print, screen print when it's flat than it is to do it inside a body. Challenge Josh not to do a challenge. Ah, that's a good idea, Chris. I like that. Uh, okay, so that's the Porsche. Like I said, uh, magnet body mounts and uh, a couple of tire stickers and then some weathering and we can call that one done. But uh, man, it's such a good looking car. It's probably one of my favorite Tamiya kits, despite it being on like a really old ass chassis um, that doesn't quite fit. The wheelbase is slightly wrong and I know there are fixes out there for it, but I think this would probably be more collectible if it was in its stock form. So I think we'll leave it stock for now. Uh, might as well bring out the high trail uh, so you can see it. There you go. It's uh, it's big and tall and still very shiny because I literally, once I put the interior in and changed it to this set of wheels and tires, I pretty much left it as it is. Um, not for any reason specifically. Sorry, I'm just changing some settings here so it's a little bit easier to see. There we go. Um, not for any reason, just other than the weather hasn't cooperated. Like it just started getting muddy, but there's just the place where I used to go where there was great mud, they changed it. They changed the diversion of the flow of the water so there is no more mud there anymore. It's super annoying. Does that Optima look more like a Porsche? 2003 Toyota Camry body and a 610 2 chassis. Challenge Josh to do a Tamiya Porsche build. <laughs> Gives you time to finish yours. That's a great idea. Josh, build something I've already built. Josh, make a mud truck. <laughs> um, speaking of, I hope Josh is feeling better. Because um, uh, he didn't sound very good last night. What is your opinion on Ohio? Well, my best friend Turks and Jerps lives there, so... Um, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh other matt's here after getting off a phone call with a canadian matt all right well welcome matt um big support from korea i have optima mid ready to be built right on welcome to the show thanks for watching do i have any rc10 chassis is yes i do <laughs> do you want me to get that now too that's the high trail as soon as there's mud there will be mud video and i'll i'll do it with some oh ah I do have that other set of tires. Um, what are these ones? The J Concepts Fling King Junior. Junior. It looks so small compared to uh, what I originally put on there. <laughs> these are hilarious. Look at the size difference between these two. That's what was on there before. A little bit of rubbing. That's what uh, is another option. But you know what? It doesn't look as good. These, these don't look as good now as, as this does. That looks better to me. Because this looks, it looks weirdly small. Like it looks like a clod buster with tiny tires. So I don't think that's, I don't know. Like I'll run it, I'll run it both. I'll run it all three ways. And then... Maybe I'll leave it up to the public with some sort of poll. That's a good way to do it, right? People love polls. Uh, let's put a poll up now. So we'll go, what's this gonna say here? Hang on. Not brought to you by Liquid Death. Uh, first question, uh, first response. What tire? Question mark. And then we'll go, these are these are the Fling Kings. <laughs> They're all Fling Kings. <laughs> Fling King. Uh, these are the 2.6. 2.6. Uh, and then Fling King Massive. And Fling King Junior. Right. Asking community. Let's get this out of the way. Goodbye. I'm looking forward to running it, though. Don't get me wrong. Um, that's the Tammy away. 
side by side. Oh man, I just skipped ahead. Sorry guys. That this view is just comical. I love it. Could you use the high trail to invade Ohio? I don't, I, Ohio doesn't need invading. Um, what, which performs better, this or your mud truck? Needs mud on the tires. I know it does. Um, side by side, the Porsche with Shippy. Uh, Shippy's in the other room too. That means I have to leave the room again. I hate doing that. Um, getting your high trail tomorrow. Nice. Uh, did I see Rebecca in here? Rebecca, what do you mean I can't fill the tub with dirt? But I need to make mud. <laughs> uh, what's my full-time job? I'm a uh, commercial editor. I work in advertising. Uh, we're, what are we going to put on the bench next? Isn't there something else we just talked about? We just talked about something. Am I going crazy? I feel like I am. I've totally forgotten what I was going to do. Um, how do you pronounce Tamia? I usually pronounce it Tamia. Uh, some people say Tamaya, which is all wrong. How's the Baja coming along? Rewind. We looked at it already. Why do I feel like there was something I was just... Oh, the RC10. That's right. There it is. I was going to run it, but then I broke it. I broke it testing out some 3D printed parts that I did. So uh, I broke the steering <laughs> steering arm. So it steers well on one side and not at all on the other. Uh, but there it is. It's a restored, um, whatchamacallit. This one was Cadillac. Uh, so the Cadillac factory made this one. Um, and uh, I painted it to kind of look like of it's like that box art with the girl in the bikini and the guy and it's all dirty it's my favorite um yeah so i've had this one for a while i picked it up from um my other local hobby shop and uh did all the restoration mciracing.ca they offer um brand new resin cast parts and i bought a whole bunch of them i can't remember what box i put them in they're around somewhere, uh, but I'll use those eventually. Uh, do you think we'll ever get a recon back in Ontario? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold your breath. Hello from Wisconsin. Do I still have the C2X? No, I sold that a while ago. Have I run the Baja yet? No. Um, waiting on batteries. That's it. Uh, I want to see the massive fling kings on the snow. That could be cool, Tony. And if you wait a little while, it won't be long, you can have that. <laughs> um, I always say it as Tamiya. Yeah, Tamiya, that works too. I just think it's if you don't, as long as you don't say Tamaya, I think we're all good. That's just not right. Probably have a phoenix laying around there to show, right? I can't show you. I want to, believe me. I really want to, but I cannot. I will not. You need a good memory bringer backer. Oh, Wes. Mm, I oughta. <laughs> uh, anything going on with the Mogrich? Uh, no. I don't even know if I have that one still. I think that's in a box somewhere. Restored-ish. Well, it's as, it's as restored-ish as it gets. I mean, it's pretty clean underneath. There's a few extra holes in it, though. It's because I think people moved the steering servo to, like, this position. It's a bunch of extra holes, actually. Um, which annoys me, but what can you do? Um, yeah. It's a good-looking car, though. And uh, if I didn't break it, I probably would have run it by now. Uh, hey, SBG, what are your thoughts on the Proline KM3 Predator compound and would they fit with a Defender D110 pickup? Uh, that's a big tire. Like the 475? 
I think is way too big. Don't they do? They do a class one. That might look okay. Um, hang on. I don't know that I have any of those handy. In fact, I know I don't. Um, the next best thing would be the tires that were on the Boom Racing Demon. Is is that the truck you're talking about, though? Because uh, I like this tire a lot more than I like the Predator um, Cam 3. Just because this has a much smaller tread and it looks more realistic on a truck. like Especially the D110. I think it's just, I think that might just be too much tire. Uh, whatever you do, change the foams because the foams are way too soft. Way too soft. Trophy Girl, that's the one, yeah. Um, Cadillac or Edinger? Yeah, this uh, mine's a Cadillac. It's cool. Uh, speed holes. <laughs> Still a nice old RC10. And that's the thing, right? Like, you can't, you can't expect to find like a really good um, clean one anymore. They've all been bought up. Anything you find nowadays, um, they're going to be kind of rough. Anyone dropped out of the build challenge? Good question. No. Uh, we checked in on uh, Monday just to be like, hey, are you guys all good? Everybody moving forward? Does everybody think they're going to finish? Didn't get no. So I think everybody's in. Uh, Scott Norton, RC Girl did not commit to uh, Monthly Mayhem. She actually, um, I guess she was busy or had other things going on and couldn't do it. Same thing with RC Driver. So, um, K-Pop, you missed the kit, dude. We already did that. Are you talking about the Optima? We already did the Optima. But it looks great. <laughs> it looks real good in the box. <laughs> good it's really good go back and watch it though um and hey you've already seen the the paint job on the the Baja, so i don't need to pull that up again uh does the tf2 have to be leaf sprung uh, or can they be removed and run shocks only well you need to buy the link kit like the four link kit if you're going to do that and happy birthday to k-pop by the way everybody send him uh happy birthday big ups uh, what size tires are you running on this one? These are like, I don't know. These are really short. These are, uh, these are under, these are three, eight fives. Um, and I think they look perfect here. If anything, they're a tiny touch too big. Um, thoughts on that new SCX six Chevy body. Talked about that a little bit already. Don't like it at all. I think they really kind of dropped the ball. I think they really put low effort into it. It's the SCX six. It's a huge platform. It demands a good quality looking body with a ton of plastic uh, pl parts. You, can, you can't just do a Lexan body at that size. You need to have the detail because it's, you know, it shows. So, uh, mind if I clip the Ohio parts? <laughs> Whatever you need, man. You go right ahead. Um, 475 is too much tire, really, huh? I would have thought you would, it would fit by the way it's going on a TRX-4. If it's going on a TRX-4, then yeah, by all means, uh, especially if it's the TRX-4 Defender, because that body is huge. It's like seventh scale almost. Um, so yeah, by all means, you can run a 475 on that one. I ran 475 crawlers on mine, or the KR2s, when I had that truck. So there you go. Um, yes, lots of birthday messages for K-pop. I got my steering links from Send Cut Send, and now I'm addicted. They came out amazing. Send Cut Send is amazing. If you can design in 3D, you can design in 2D. And if you can design in 2D, you can export a DXF and send them those files, and they will cut whatever you send them. I've used them four times now, three times in the last week. And, uh... I am super excited about how the parts have turned out. I wish I could share them with you, but I can't. Did Proline make that body or was it made by J Concepts? Yeah, it was not good. Uh, the girl got me a nerd knob. I'm playing with it. 3D Connection Compact. Check it. Okay. Uh, I will. 3D Connection. What is it? Oh, 
cool. Does it work? Do you like it? Tell me more. Uh, Sean and Katie Thomas, thank you very much. Uh, what happened to the self-driving tracks as you were going to do? That project took a lot of different turns. Um, I was never really happy with uh, the, the software. I was never really happy with how uh, it was coming together. I still have the Jetson Nano. I think it just requires me sitting down and learning a bit of programming so I can figure out uh, some of the logistics uh, or the logistical problems that I was having. The biggest problem with all of these systems is that they kind of require a connection between the car and a wired internet connection. And I don't have that super good. <laughs> like you can do Wi-Fi um, to the, like from the car to the uh, connection, but it's spotty at best, but it needs it in order to sort of like gather all the data because the computer on board doesn't have enough horsepower to actually do the thinking to create the autonomous drive. It's, I know, it. it's very confusing, and I bit off more than I could chew on that, for sure. Um, but I still have hopes that um, it will get to the point that I can, I can at least train it outside. That's what I want to do. But it'll come back at some point, believe me. You're getting a D110 hard body for the 12.3 wheelbase. Okay, well... Th those are different those are different sizes those are different bodies entirely uh i don't i don't recommend a 475 tire for what is going to basically have wheel wells this big i wouldn't do that i think it, i think it's going to look very strange you get a lot of rubbing it it will not work the way you hope unless you're going to lift it really high um camtech website says that the three wheel rc comes with reliant or regal van shell I got the Reliant shell. Uh, no, wait. I got the van shell. I think I got the van. I think that's what I got. Someone else can confirm for me. Josh can confirm. I don't have it handy. He still has it. Uh, looking to get my first 3D printer. Do you have recommendations? Uh, I would say if you can afford it, get the Prusa Mark III i3+. Plus. It is the best FDM printer on the market. And hands down, my most valuable tool in this workshop. Um... It is not cheap, but you get what you pay for. If you do not want to fiddle, if you do not want to modify, if you just want to print really great quality stuff, that actually is, like, that's how this bed was printed on the Prusa. Get a Prusa i3 Mark III Plus. Send it to Alex. Not a bad idea, Chris. Why? Hey, hold on. Chris, which mod are you? <laughs> so weird. Um... You couldn't just show us one part, Matt? Kind of a teaser? I shouldn't. I shouldn't do that at all. No, I can't. I won't. I shan't be doing that tonight. <laughs> uh, I have the Furitech 10 yet. Uh, it's in the Range Rover. Let me move this out of the way. Put the Range Rover up there. God damn, so much stuff in here, guys. I'm infuriated. The Range Rover Classic Rebuild has the Furitech 10 series in it. Um, can't remember what the KV of the motor is, but I did run this briefly. I powered it up. Um, can't remember what state it's in right now. Probably not ready to go, but uh, it has it. Uh, and I did it on what's on the bench. So you can go back and look and um, uh, check it out. But it's very smooth. It's got FOC or FA as uh, it's known as and it works really really well i was really impressed with that little outrunner uh or no this one's a, a brushless in runner isn't it um yes yes no it is an outrunner yeah it's kick-ass though i'm i'm really happy uh and uh, i can't wait to get this one outside too i just need to finish the light bar on the roof and that's it i think yeah I do want to put an antenna back on the front because I had a CB antenna that came out here. I do want to patch that up a little bit, but otherwise, it's done. 
Uh, do you think the K10 body might put a bad taste in ProLine for other SCX6 bodies? Maybe. I don't know. Um, it did not turn out very good. That's for sure. What exactly is not cheap? Well, uh, I think the Prusa starts at like $7.99, I think. I can't remember exactly. Hang on. I haven't been on the website lately. But let's find out. Oh, they're $1,000. Oh, no, no. It's $7.99. I was right. Canadian dollars. Mm. Um... Buy cheap, buy twice, someone with more money than me. <laughs> um, you just got back, what'd you miss? Everything. Uh, you can pick the body, you just gotta let them know. Oh, you can! Oh, interesting. On the on the uh, Camtech site, I guess, whether or not they, they, they give you the option or they can just randomize. I, I think I went random. Uh, $1,000 US, not cheap. Thank you, K-pop. Much appreciated. The meme guy. Oh, no. Jesse. <laughs> Too kind to be DK. <laughs> uh, what's one RC that they don't make anymore on your wish list that you haven't been quite able to get your hands on that you would like to own? It used to be the Optima Mid. That was one that I always asked about. I was like, are you guys ever going to reread the Optima Mid? And I got a lot of non-committal answers. So I'm really happy that they came back with that one because that one is far and away my favorite. Uh, how's the poll going? Hey, great question. Let's take a look. Oh my God. The Flink King 2.6s, uh, well above. Wow. Flink King Jr. came in second. Huh? Interesting. All right. I'm Jesse. <laughs> uh, I want to see some run video of that Land Rover. Me too. I would love to do that. Um, uh, my October has been busy to say the very least. That was your chance to convince him you were any other mod and you gave it away. Yeah, you did. You blew it. Blue means we are mods. <laughs> RC four-wheel drive sent you a light bar. Hey, they did. Where is that light bar? Why do I feel like I... I think I already sent it to somebody else. I think I gave it away. <laughs> it was too big anyway. I didn't like it. We can remove comments or spam. That's true. Still have the 2021 Tamiya Bronco? Yes, of course I do, Tony. Shall I get it? Okay. I love this show. I love this show because I can just show stuff that I have in this room. Ah. There you are, mate. Plucky little truck. Cute little wheelbase. Independent. Francis. No. Solid axle. A lot of cowards voting for the wrong tire size again. <laughs> uh, Andy, you always wanted the OG Enduro Sendero, eh? I like the gray body. It was weird looking at the time, but I it makes sense. It made sense. Uh, Prusa Mark III is a great printer if you want something that works right out of the box. Exactly. So, Turtle Man does not like Ohio. I think we've learned that. Uh, Mark III... S plus is the 1099 one. That's the one I recommend. Is that the one I have? Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I can't remember. I'm so far behind on comments. I'm not that far. I'm picking up. Uh, did you miss the Falcon section? No. Do you want to see the Falcons now? By the way, I think Tamiya did a great job on this body. And uh, I like it now that I put these 155 general grabbers on there. I think it just kind of fills out those wheel wells a bit better. Good little truck. I like the paint that I chose too. Uh, let's get some tires out here, guys. Maybe let's build a wheel. Let's build one wheel and tire combo. It's all we get, and then maybe we'll call it tonight. Zoom in a little bit and then spot focus on you. All right. Here's the focus. Turn off spot focus. There's the new Falcon Wild Peak uh, MT from Vanquish Products. <laughs> oh man, I, Zach, I can't read your comment. We need Optimus K-pop. Yes, you do. 
absolutely. Peanut butter and jelly. Oh, man. K-pop, you have no idea. That Optima, it just fixed everything in the world for me. I was the happiest guy on the planet when that thing showed up. I almost got misty. I'm honest. Uh, I was I was like, yes. Now, the only thing that could make me feel any more nostalgic, I think, would be a Nico Turbo Panther. But it has to be the red one. Because I had one of those, too. And my mom got it for me at Sears. And then I remember the saddest moment ever. Where is my blade? Oh. I made this knife. Well, I assembled it anyway. Um, my mom bought that for me. I was playing with it. And some ding-dong neighbor kid was like, hey, can I try it? And of course, he drove it straight into a curb and broke it. And, you know, those were the days when there were no replacement parts. That was it. Garbage. I was very sad by that. Very, very saddened. Light bar's not too big for the 5B. Speaking of the 5B, um, I've got a package coming from someone that I can't say who. Uh, and there may be some options for lights for the box. Which I'm pretty excited about, actually. I like putting lights on things that maybe don't need them. Sorry, I only have one of these um, that works with a power driver. Power drive. You have selected power drive. Uh, let's build. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. Uh, I need to scroll forward here. Do I still have the black blazer? No, Brian. Sorry, that one uh, sold as well. Uh, that was a very cool truck. Um, I know it's in good hands, though. Um, a very nice man bought it. Can you show the CCO2 next to a normal SCX or TRX? Uh, yes. One moment. You're going to laugh when I show you. I'll put the Tamiya up first. Okay. And bless this mess. Here is the TRX4 Bronco. <laughs> now, of course, there's a little bit of camera distortion going on, but uh, yeah. One is true tenth scale. The other is more like eighth scale. This one has an interior now. All right, let's build some wheels. That's what I'm, that's what this show is all about. Wheel building. Wheelie, it is. <laughs> yes. Is it wheelie? Ah, uh, man, that's tiny. Yeah. La 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 la. Are you going to build a new comp truck? Yes, OBS Productions. Um, that's what... Uh, I'm zoom back in. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. So these are the IFR rings. Uh, as you can see, they key into each other because there is a pattern on the back of this. You can see that. And that just lays right in there. The Skarn and the Delta, a nice combination. And then we're going to add all the bolts. I do have scale bolts somewhere, but I don't want to search for those right now. And left my driver in the other room. Amazing. Maybe we will do scale bolts. <laughs> See what I have here. Hope I have some. Black on black on black. And then I need a gold one because I like to do the gold tooth. Need those two. 
so many things in here. Maybe I use gold for the center nuts. That'd be kind of sexy. Mm. One of those. Hmm. Maybe I don't have any gold scale hardware. I used to. The black. Nope. Huh. If I do, they're not in here. That's fine. Weird. No matter. I'll steal them from elsewhere. Uh, just assembled some spec RC. Oh, I need to. No, that's right. You can use this. We just tire since the Proline BFGs. Yeah, they are a great looking tire. That's true. Turbo Panthers on eBay quite often. Yeah, but I need one that isn't broken. Most of the ones on there are already missing the front, uh, uh, like mud guard thing. All right. Oh. Okay, let's quickly build this wheel. Quickly. Quickly assemble a wheel from Vanquish. Said nobody ever. It helps when you have the right tools. Ugh. going really well. I think I may have... Uh, I wonder if I stripped this. This tool may have been stripped. Matt, make me a knife. It's easy. You just go online, you order the parts, and that's all you need to do. <laughs> it shows up pre-assembled. Oh, man. I think I did strip this tool. I am a tool. <laughs> no scale hardware today. That's annoying. Maybe these are the wrong ones. Because you know they make two different sizes, right? Bet you these are the wrong size. M2 by 8. Yep, it is the wrong size. Idiot! All right, I'm going to scroll through some comments because this wheel's going really well. Uh, there's only one real Bronco, and that's a two-door Bronco. No, four-door. <laughs> uh, oh, the High Trail Road Bar. Road bar, yeah, I haven't seen... Okay, there we go. That's the right hardware there. Two by eight is wrong. You gotta buy more hardware. Matt's a stripping tool. Indeed I am. You heard it here first. I won't have all the hardware in, but it'll be enough just to get us started so we can see how this is gonna look all mounted up. At least. There's only one real vehicle. It's a Yaris. Have you been talking to Alex again? Hello, Matt. I hope you're feeling the same. Yes, I am. Thank you, Buck Dandy, for checking in. Uh, what's that under the bench? Can we all see? No, because if I tilt my camera there, then you'll know exactly what's over beside the bench. What's in the loud bag weekly? <laughs> Is noise canceling not working today? Can the Phoenix be made narrower than what the plastic hubs on the in the box provide? Yes. You don't have to. No, there are metal. What? There's. Are they plastic hubs? Are you talking about the wheel? You can get a narrower offset wheel. Red Loctite those. Yeah, that's a great idea, Jesse. Said nobody ever. 
I'm only going to put six in. What did Meat Sleeve say? <laughs> All right. I'm a stripping tool. Where would I get a tool for those tiny scale fasteners? I need one for my beadlock ring bolts. This is the Vanquish tool. Uh, it's made for their scale hardware. It, uh, it works very well when you use the right size scale hardware. What's the yellow thing in the background? It's a Ryobi drill. Nothing fancy, nothing mayhem related. Never lock the wheels. No, never. Never. Okay, that's good enough for jazz. Because uh, we're not, we're, this is a demo. We're demoing this. Any pointers for people getting into hard bodies? Uh, take your time. Prep the body properly before you paint, um, which requires a little bit of scuffing with a Scotch Brite pad. Clean the body with uh, soap, like warm soapy water, to get any mold residue off of it. Um, prime with an appropriate primer. Tamiya uh, Fine uh, Hard Body Primer is usually what I would use. Um, and uh, yeah, paint, but go slow. Don't. Uh, don't do a bunch of, don't do one or two thick coats. Do like six or seven really thin coats. Also, don't torque these on with a powerful wrench. Don't paint bodies from the inside. That's also, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a really good tip as well. <laughs> Pink light tight, lock tight, yeah. That's a Vanquish tool. The Vanquish tool is out sick right now. Yeah, you will not be doing a show tomorrow, right? <laughs> Do the plastic Vanquish wheels use the same hubs? No. The plastic Vanquish wheels use incision hubs. Not SLW. Uh, but you can get them in all kinds of varying widths, just like you could an SLW hub. Ugh. Focus on the tire. So not all the bolts in there, of course, but a nice. This is really subtle pattern. The tank wheel with um, gray outer beadlock, the scarn, and the delta black inner ring. No Josh tonight. No, he must really not be feeling well. Poor guy. Wish him well. I mean, I don't wish him any. I'm a well wisher. And then I don't wish him any specific harm. People go gold. I love gold. What's the actual size? <laughs> Good question. I think I actually measured these at a true 465. Uh, which is accurate. Yeah, these are 465s. Matt, do you have RC, RC shots close to you, uh, to your local? Yes, I do. Uh, there's one about 35 minutes away, and then there's another one about 45 minutes away. Which is not super close, but it's also not super far. What's Robbie Bobster up to? A big RC event here in Melbourne, Australia next week. Vintage RC bash, vintage out off... Vintage off-road buggies will be catching up with Mr. Knight. Please do say hello to Mr. Jimmy Knight for me. I miss the guy. He asked about Proline by the fire. I was like, you should come out. We have a house. You could probably sleep on the floor. Uh, but uh, I think he had other things going on, unfortunately. Probably working on Monthly Mayhem. I was working on Monthly Mayhem all day today in between doing some actual work uh, for my real job. Ah. It's, guys, I like when I joke that I was fully joshing this one, I am fully joshing it. No joke. All right. That looks very nice. If I do say so myself. 
I like the gold uh, scale nuts, scale wheel hardware. These foams are much better, and these are very sticky tires. Ooh, I forgot to vent it. Well, it's a good thing I'm not actually not building it yet, but that's the combo. That's a 465. Here is, obviously it's not the same tire. Well, actually, hang on. I do have the Falcon 475s. Where are they? Here's one. Right here. I forgot that I put these on here. That's the Wild Peak MT-475 from Axial on a Traxxas truck. And then there's the 465 up against it. So you really, you don't gain much. Like you get a tiny bit more tread pattern. But I like the closer spacing and the better look of this tire. I think it just looks better compared to this one. Gosh, my camera's so dark. Lighten up, would you? There you go. That's better. So there it is kind of next to itself. Get my head out of the way. Is that built for speed, perhaps? No. <laughs> Not in the slightest. How long is your monthly mayhem video going to be? Uh, I'm already at 45 minutes, and I haven't even gotten to um, most of this week's stuff. So, there you go. 475 versus 465. What body is that? I've never seen that body before. Are the VXT2s the same size as the Falcon? No. <laughs> They're substantially larger. Let me try to make some room for those here. It's hardware out of the way. Yeah. Big mess. Uh, let me see about getting the... the VXT2. Let me get a sip of my water. And then I think we're going to call this because I've got work to do. Here's the VXT2. No, that's not going to fit in the frame. Mm -hmm. it's too many things. Too many things. Okay, so there's the VXT2, uh, which is higher, taller, as you can see, to either of these. There's no good way to do this. <laughs> there. Do the 475 Falcons rub a lot on the Bronco? No, not at all. Not at all. Monthly Mayhem. Hey, Kevin, how are you? Um, always vent your tires. It depends. I don't always vent, um, especially if I'm going to get them muddy and gross. If I'm going to get wet, I keep them unvented because I don't want to ruin the foams. But if it's like a comp, obviously. If you're, if you're comping, you're cutting. <laughs> um... What was the, oh, uh, Kevin's question. Does the monthly mayhem wrap up soon? Looking forward to seeing all the entries. Uh, we have to, we cannot film any more past October 31st. And then I think we're, we're trying to figure out the actual release date for all the videos, but it'll be after that. Did you sand the lips? No, just drove the truck. I do drive them. Uh, Matt, let it be known. There shall be a YouTube short of you talking about Ohio. <laughs> Great. Sounds good. Um, my best friend lives there and I love it. Very nice. Good people. All right, folks. Um, I think that's going to probably do it. Because, uh, like I said, I've got other things to do. There's something over here that I'm very excited about. And, um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's it. Thank you very much, uh, everybody. He Hit the like button, please. Does foam choice matter as much if you don't vent? Lots of wet here. Yes. Foam choice still matters, I think. Um you you kind of you reduce the uh, the ability to uh, have the foam work properly, uh, but it can still make a difference. I think. Anyway, okay, uh, so that's going to do it. Thank you, everybody. Thanks to Kyosho for sending me that Optima Mid, uh, my favorite buggy of all time. Thank you to Jimmy Two Horses, Eric Baker, Brian Sherwood, Chris 
Giangulio, The Scale Studio, and Sean and Katie Thomas. Thank you guys. And because somebody requested it, here's the intro one more time. Oh, what happened? It didn't do it. Play. <laughs> Yes, that is a great intro. Uh, I said love you by last night as well. I think it just cut off before I actually said it. Oh, hey, Buck Dandy, you snuck one in there. Can you weigh everything now that we've seen the tire size? <laughs> Lucky for you, I've got my scale right here. <laughs> what do you want? You want to weigh the tire? Just the tire itself? Or with the wheel, just the tire and the foam? Let me know quickly. I guess it's a 10 second delay. <laughs> you were just kidding. Oh, well, too bad. Now you get to know. Let's zero the unit. You always have to make sure your unit is zeroed. Hit the like button on the way out. That would be really handy. Uh, and wheel or just tire and foam weighs 72 grams. Put it with a wheel and this is a brass SLW, so that'll change the weight for sure. 152 grams. Two tires and one wheel. 223.9 grams. <laughs> There's some bonus content for you guys. Uh, have a lovely rest of your week. Uh, I'll be back next Wednesday. Um, and there may be some other videos throughout the week as well. So keep your eyes peeled. Keep watching the skis. Love you. Bye. <laughs>